hi guys welcome back so today i want to take you along with me as i make my zucchini crisp so normally when i pick my zucchini and harvest it i want it to be you know small tender uh, juicy wonderful deliciousness um but for zucchini crisp these are the ones that you want to get 12 to 24 inches long the zucchini because then they get that texture of an apple so I left two zucchini, two green zucchini to get extra large in the garden so I could make my zucchini crisps. So today I'm gonna to harvest it and show you how I make my crisp. This is the size you want them. <laughs> Okay guys, it is the next day. Um, <laughs> yesterday after picking the zucchini, I ended, I ended up ripping out a t most of the garden of everything that would not survive the frost that we were supposed to have last night and it never came. But if you wanna see that video, I will link it below or just click the eye in the corner. But I got so tired after that and being nine months pregnant, I just couldn't do anything else for the rest of the day. So. Today, I'm going to go continue and make the zucchini crisp. I'm also getting some stuff ready there to make some homemade bread too. But today in this video, I'm gonna focus on the zucchini crisp. So this is kind of a recipe that I came up with in a way. I looked at several different zucchini crisp recipes and I took bits and pieces of those. And then I also combined it with my apple crisp recipe, which everyone said, that that is the best apple crisp recipe they've ever had. So I took all these bits and pieces of different recipes, combined it together, and this zucchini crisp is incredible. Um, I had some people over the other day and I didn't tell them what uh, produce was in the crisp. They thought it was the best crisp they've ever had. And when I told them that it was zucchini, they were just blown away. So I'm gonna get started. Really, the important thing is, is I'm gonna cut up my zucchini. This monster here, I'm going to cut the skin off and scrape out the seeds. And then the fleshy part at this point, when it's this big, is um, like the same textures as an apple. And then I am going to, it needs that acidic flavor that apples have. So I'm actually gonna boil my zucchini pieces with lemon juice. Um, but I'll just kind of walk you through step by step. I'll show you what I'm doing and then I'll put the recipe in the description box below. So if you wanna check that out, definitely check that out. And I'm just gonna get started.
Okay, you guys, I pull it out of the oven. It's nice and golden on top. You wanna just poke it. I use a fork just to make sure that the zucchini is tender. And I'm actually bringing this over to a dinner party tonight, but I'm gonna try to sneak just a little bit just to give it a little taste test before I go. And I'm trying to figure out maybe, I'm not sure where, I'm just gonna, the middle probably wasn't a smart choice, but. Mm hmm Oh, man. Mm. I'm taking a clean fork and trying to hide the evidence. There you go. <laughs> you can't even tell that I took a hole right from the middle. That is incredible. It's so good. It blows me away every time. The sauce is thick, creamy almost has like a caramely taste the crisp on top now keep in mind i like a lot of crisp the crumble on top so i have a, a thick layer of crumble so if you don't like that much crumble just cut the crumble recipe in half because um I, that's how much i doubled it by <laughs> uh, like i said this is my own recipe so this makes a nine by 13 so if you want a smaller smaller pan just cut the recipe in half and then if you still want less crumble then cut it in like half again if you're doing it eight by eight but if you like more of the fruit filling for nine by thirteen um just cut the crumble recipe in half if that makes sense but oh, this is so good so that's it for this video thanks for taking along um let me know if you try this recipe i would love to hear how yours came out, and I will see you next time. Bye.